The next icon we're going to look at is the live icon. And first up on this is the camera naming. It's good to label the cameras with their locations so you can tell at a glance which location might have something suspicious going on. You just click on the current name, such as camera one. A keyboard will pop up and you can use the backspace key to delete the current name and change the camera name to garage, front entry, or whatever you like. Hit the apply button and you've named all your cameras. Next, we'll look at video masking. Basically, if you had your camera pointing at, say, a tree limb that was constantly blowing in the wind and you don't want that motion to set off your motion detection and start a recording every time the limb moves, you can use video masking to keep that from happening. You can go in here and click Channel 1 and click Setting. Channel 1 will come up full screen. You can draw a box here to mask the limb and right-click out of the full screen, which brings you to the multi-screen. You'll notice your video blind mask won't show up until you hit Apply. If you want to remove a mask, just click back into that channel. The picture comes up full screen. You double click on your mask, the square should turn black, right click out, and hit apply, and the video mask will go away. 